Going into this video, I've already made up my mind that I'm gonna do whatever it takes. Even if it means working in the rain, even if it means working when it's dark outside. But the outside of this bathroom is gonna be done. I'm not working on the outside of this bathroom anymore. We're going to the inside. I want a toilet, I want a shower, and there's still a ton of work to do, so. Let's get, let's get after it, baby. The good news is Sadie's already getting after it. <laughs> Sadie knows there's a lot of painting that's gonna be going on, and she is working on a masterpiece. Okay, go ahead, roll it on. That is just beautiful. So we're gonna get back to work on trimming out this window. There's just a couple pieces left to put in place, and it's gonna look so good so quickly. I just need to take a couple measurements of these windows up here. And thank goodness this glass is five eighths of an inch thick because my whole life is just being supported by this piece of glass right now. We bought the thickest glass that we could find, not only because of the wind and because of the crazy weather here, but also because it was just so cheap. All these windows, all 10 of them, cost $600. Custom made, fully installed. Some things you just gotta love about living in Panama. Okay, now I can start laying the first piece of trim and put it flat up against this right here. Check this out right now. All these windows have the trim done on the sides. So now I'm gonna start putting the face plates on. This is really where this is gonna start looking a heck of a lot better. I'm really, really excited. This first face plate is going up all the way on the top there. <laughs> one of the things that really slows us down here is none of the wood is straight so we have to re-straighten out all of the wood so you can see everything bows so we cut off this little bit on one end and then when you get to the middle it's so warped that it's this thick now that we have one side straight we can use that as a straight edge here on the table saw and rip the other side much much faster Yeah, I love boba tea. Watch how much Kaylee is gonna want to use this nail gun. Once she sees me use it, she's gonna be like, can I use that? All right, I'm ready. Okay. Oh, it's gonna look so good, honey. Okay, get it in there. You good? Yep. I knew that's what you were saying. <laughs> I knew you'd want to do it. And then pu pull the trigger? Yep. <laughs> we just had a major, major oops. It ate all the concrete, dude. So we had the concrete cleaner oh. to clean off all this concrete this morning, and we had it in here. And the dogs the knocked dogs it over. The dogs knocked it over and it totally ate away all of this concrete. Luckily, it is just this small area right here. Oh, that looks bad. Honestly, honey, I don't think it looks that bad at all. No. Like, truly. Yeah, all these rocks are going to come out, dude. It's no, not I don't think so. I'll have to redo this part. You think? Yeah, for sure. I don't think it looks that bad, honey. Honestly, that stuff is I gnarly. Can't. Don't get any of that on your hands. I know. Good thing you noticed it when you did, because it could have gone like You're so right much through. deeper. Yeah, yeah. We will have to resand this down. I think. I'm kicking myself right now, you guys. This floor was like one of the things I was most proud of. I'm like, well, this is one thing that at least we didn't mess up. And now we did. <laughs> My time has come to an end here today, honey. It's time for your mom shift. <laughs> this is where I really need you. I know. I, we I should know. have done this first, but I was just so excited to see how the windows looked. <sighs> we just have one little bit of plysum left to do. On the back side It's like here. the tiny little part. Like, I'll show you guys in a minute, but 
I'm gonna have to be going up and down the ladder and stuff. I'm gonna try to come out. If I get the lunch at least like prepped and cooking on the stove and she goes down for a nap, I might be able to sneak out for a few minutes. My love. Kinda cool up here. Hang out? I'm coming up. We can have some rooftop curry, honey. <laughs> Dude, that looks amazing. This is kinda scary, honey. Okay. We're having a little date on the roof. Sadie's actually down for a nap. I got the monitor here. And for those of you guys who are like really into curry, I have something for you guys to try. This is something I've been making for a few years now. It's just rice and then chickpeas, beets. Yes, beets, I know it sounds weird. And cauliflower. And then I just add the coconut milk with some spices, curry spices, turmeric, all that good stuff that typical curry has. One of my favorite meals, especially the crunchy chickpeas. You gotta make the chickpeas crunchy. Crunchy, that is the key. If you're ever gonna have a vegetarian meal, I feel like that's always key. You gotta have some sort of crunch. Well, I got some bad news. I just drove down to town to buy a piece of flashing that I can put where the wall and the roof meets up there. They don't sell flashing here. They don't sell pre-made flashing. They sell sheet metal. And everyone here just makes their own flashing. So... You guys might know that, remember that promise I said that I was gonna finish up all of this by the end of this video? <laughs> this is a, a huge speed bump, because this is gonna take some time. Hey, Bobby. Can I use your doohiggy? Your doohiggy. You know what a doohiggy is? I need to bend some flashing. Okay, so the first step is to bend this piece of metal to 14 degrees, because that's the because that's the slope of our roof. What are you doing? Bending this thing. <laughs> are you sure? Yep. <laughs> I think you're just waking up Sadie, that's all. She should be waking up any minute now. It's been almost two, over two hours now. It's pretty freaking awesome living on a piece of land with someone else who's building their house because you can kind of bump ideas off of one another. You can share new tips and tricks that you learn along the way. And Rodrigo's like our MacGyver. <laughs> a little bit more sketchy though. Just jerry rig everything. Yeah, you, you just make it. You just make it work. You yeah. cl you classically jerry rig everything. <laughs> <laughs> but in all seriousness, Rodrigo actually just recently did this on the top of his A-frame. I don't know if you can see it from here, but he had to bend a flashing for that tippy toppy tippy toppy part <laughs> of his A-frame down there. So he's giving us a little bit of a hand today, showing us his skills on how to bend this one here. It's very sharp. Are you flush with that beam over there? This piece yeah. is on the edge of this black beam? Yeah. Yeah. All right, I'm right on here, so that's how it's gonna go. Okay. I mean, we did a pretty good job bending it. I know, it looks great, honey. How did you know the angle? Did you measure it? I did, downloaded a Protractor app on my phone. What? <laughs> and it worked? Yeah. Wow. You're gonna keep holding it and I'm gonna mark all these ridges. Okay. And then we're gonna need to cut these out after I mark them. Okay. Some of these look like it might hit the ridge. Go ahead and look straight down. Take that, take the marker and if you need to move it, look straight down at it and mark. Okay, can you hold it? I went through and marked where all the seams are with these two lines so we know where to cut out. But uh, Miss Kaylee over here is saying, I didn't do a good enough job. <laughs> There's, I just don't want to have to take it down again. <laughs> In case you guys are wondering, Kaylee is having a lot of fun with the tin sniffs. I am on the struggle bus right now. <laughs> She's looked at me. She's like, is there any other tool that we can use to do this? Honey, this is just like... <laughs> This is gonna take all day. Welcome to building your own flashing in Panama. <laughs> all right, I feel like I finally got this down. Now that I've done a few, I feel like I'm on a roll now. So we only got what? One, two, three, four, five left to go. And 
I was wrong. I might have been a little over dramatic. This isn't gonna take all day. <laughs> I just oh, yeah. didn't want to do it. <laughs> In the amount of time that I've done two, Kaylee's done seven. Uh, I think I'm just gonna let this breathe, sweet. Honey, no. <laughs> Done, baby. Honey, I'm sorry I was talking crap earlier. That really wasn't that, that bad. What? Oh, I thought this was gonna take like hours and it only took what, 45 minutes? Honey, you don't need to apologize to me. I've been complaining this whole video. <laughs> what do you have to complain about, honey? It's a beautiful day, the sun's shining. There's nothing to complain about. Let's get this I just, they, they, These guys are just someone I can vent to, you know? So much more wiggly and wobbly now. I'm taking these up with me, just in case we need to trim a couple more little pieces in case certain spots don't fit. I don't have to go up and down the ladder. Here, honey, take these just in case. <laughs> Looks pretty good, huh? Heck <laughs> yeah! <laughs> wow, and then we'll just fill it in with like silicone and stuff? That's it. Done, oh. baby. So the flashing is up, it's screwed in. Super happy with how this came out. Would you technically call this a jerry-rigged job, honey? This is a Panamanian job. <laughs> this is how they do it here, honey. You just cut some stuff, put some silicone in there, and hope, you know, hope for the best. <laughs> so obviously because we had to cut the flashing to fit over the roof panels here, which then we're gonna put plisum on top of this. We're filling in all of these tiny little cracks with clear silicone so that no moisture and no water can get through. This already is a lot of overkill because everything that we're doing is underneath the roof already. Right, we got this roof covering it all right here. But you guys don't understand, the rain comes in sideways here. <laughs> and the good news is it comes from that way, so it's not gonna really like get under. We kind of built it that way on purpose because here is all jungle. So the rain can't really get in from here. Right. Let's get a couple pieces of place them up here and get this all done. This is gonna be quick. Yeah. That was hard. This is so slippery too, because it's metal with like dirt and cement powder on it. So I kept trying to slide it off. But I got the first piece up, just one more to go. Not too bad for the backside of a roof that no one is ever gonna see, unless there's a leak. But that's really the only thing I care about is that this thing never leaks. I never want any water getting inside this bathroom, mostly just because over 250 inches of rain are gonna hit this roof every single year. It's an absurd amount of water. Hey! Hola! Hola! Bye. <laughs> Sade and I actually just got back from the hardware store. I finally am deciding to change the color of this door. I feel like from the second I painted this door sage green, I like the color, it's just something about the whole feel of this color door, I just didn't really dig from the get-go. So, two and a half years later, we're finally painting this door. You wanna help me paint the door? Yeah. Okay, I got you your own special brush. I got one for you too. We can do it together, okay? You gonna help me? Okay. You want me to open it? Yeah. All right. First things first. We gotta paint. We gotta put tape on the door. Oh. Okay, Mama's gonna do it though. Okay, baby. This is really messy. Beauteous. Okay. I'm gonna, show, I'm gonna show you first. Okay. I'm good with it. Cool. Let's, let's keep it. Say and I have been up to no good. Uh oh. Is this another snake? It's 
A pink worm. Was that in our, was that in our house? No. <laughs> <laughs> what color is that? Pink. <laughs> Sadie's been around bugs since such an early age that she just has no fear. Like that, I'm not picking that worm up. It's like freaking weird. But her, she just like, she picks it up, she looks at it, she lets it crawl around on her. I think that's intuitively like how we all started out. But then society makes you fear them, you know? <laughs> I really don't say it lightly when I say you really don't need a gym when you live on a farm. <laughs> Even just putting the goats away, having to go up and down and up and down the hill and milking the goats, like I feel like I use muscles that I've never used before in my life milking a goat. But the chores are done, ready to make some dinner and relax for the rest of the night. Hi So I gotta get you guys up to speed on the greenhouse situation here because there's been some progress that's been made that we haven't really shown you guys yet. So Iberto and Enrique actually got all of this framing done and up yesterday. By the way, shout out to Rodrigo. He just built this ladder the other day and it is coming in handy on Lola's farm here. <laughs> Hi, sweetie. Good. Check it out, sweetie. Mama. Are you having a good day, Bubba? You want a ball? Yeah. She's picking the ball. I'll get a ball for you. Here you go. Say thank you. We needed some trim pieces that were just a little bit bigger than six inches, like six inches and a quarter. And so I needed to get these one by 12 so we can rip them down to the right size. It's crazy how all I've wanted to do is see the windows all framed out and all trimmed out. <laughs> I know. But to put up one piece of trim, you need to put up another piece of trim. And to do that piece of trim, you need to do another piece of trim. And before you know it, you're like all the way around on the other side of the, <laughs> <laughs> the bathroom. I know. Get the foot action. Oh, that's good leverage, baby. <laughs> yeah, baby. <laughs> what do you think, honey? Do you feel, still feel confident that we're going to have all the trim done for the outside of this by the end uh, of the video? I don't. I feel bad. I'm like, I feel <laughs> awful. You know, you're like, we're gonna do it, baby, no matter what it takes. And then you spend a whole day putting up a piece of flashing, and I then know. you just come to the real, like this morning, I was like, we're not it's gonna not do gonna it. It's not gonna happen. <laughs> but that doesn't mean that we're not gonna make a ton of progress, because we're still gonna get this side all done. We're almost done with all the hard stuff. Which is really the only side that matters, right? <laughs> That's really the only side that matters, is the window side. <laughs> The fact that I've been working up here for two days with this camera and that it hasn't slid off this slippery roof is a miracle. <laughs> I'm all done up here for now. Still a little bit more to do. This beam right there is all done. It's all wrapped. I'm going to have to make my way over there, but that's going to be for another day. I need to put up a piece of trim that's going to go right along this edge right here. And if you look, that roof piece right there, I just need to notch the piece in by like an eighth of an inch. I also finally got a new jigsaw. I was using the same jigsaw that we used to build our bus, which is like a Black & Decker $60 jigsaw. And we did everything to cut all the wood for the bus when we built it. That was like the most budget build. Oh, Honey, what? this is a heat gun. I know, but it, it, it will melt your hair, honey. It's a pass.
Ini Oh. I wish I, I I wish I was able to finish. I came so dang close. One, two, three, four more pieces. Ah, it's just too dangerous. It's even darker than it looks in this camera. It is really dark. And this sunset right now. Wow, what a sunset, dude. Right? This is insane. Oh my right now. god. Your face is glowing pink. That's when you know. <laughs> I'm gonna turn this camera on so you guys can check this out. We've all been working so hard on this farm. Sometimes we gotta get out of here and celebrate all of our hard work a little bit. What? Oh! Our car's a transformer, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Is that it? You don't have to strap it down? That's it. <laughs> this Jerusalem shawarma place just opened up about a month ago, and we're just trying it out for the first time. This is gonna be like a weekly thing, honey. Hands down. This is Rodrigo's first time having Mediterranean food, which means this is Rodrigo's first time having baklava. Dude. It's a, it's a dessert though, are you sure you're ready for it? I want to take a bite. This thing is so good that I just want to keep going. Oh my God. <laughs> well you guys, I'm gonna end this night with a little bit of chess. Got it pulled up here on the laptop. If any of you guys want to challenge me, and any of you want to play, here's my username right here. JSAGS0102. Send me a challenge. I'd love to play with you. I'm not that good though. I'm only like an 800 rating, but I'm getting better and better. And if you guys don't play chess, but you still want to connect with us, I just want to let you know that we have a bunch of awesome coffee available up on our website. We just restocked a bunch of your guys' favorites throughout the year. So if you want to check it out, there's a link in the top of the description, themorningmovementcoffee.com. But that's for right on this one. Thank you guys so much for following along. And on the next one, I'm not gonna make any promises, but we're gonna do our best to finish the outside of that bathroom. See you guys on the next one.